Hi guys, this is Raymond, the math person. Today I'll be going over question 236 on SLA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I see you already attempted it. Let's just dive right in. An insurance company insures a good driver and a bad driver on, on the same policy. The table gives a probability of a given number of claims given for each of these drivers in the next 10 years. The calculus, calculus the number of claims occurring for the two drivers are independent. Independent. Calculate the mode of the distribution of the total number of claims occurring in the next 10 years. Okay, the thing is, first of all, like, I guess next 10 years, it's not even that important because these are both in the same measure, unit measures. So let's just, and when they say um, find the mode, that means where is it most likely to happen? So what, what number of claims is the probability the highest? That's basically what it's saying. So what number of claims are the probability the highest? So keeping that in mind, let's just like draw like a little table and see what their probabilities are. So when can it have zero claims? Well, that's when good driver and bad driver both has zero. So that's going to be when it's 0.5 and times 0.2, which is just 0.1. All right, when can you have one claim? Well, that happens when good driver has one and bad driver has zero, or when good driver has zero and bad driver has one. All right, so good driver one, that's 0.3. Bad driver zero, that's 0.2. All right, and then when good driver has zero, that's 0 0.5. Bad driver has one, 0.3. So that this is 0.15. This is 0 0.06. All right. So this is the total probability here. Total, 0 0.1, 0 0.21. All right, and then when can you have two? Well, that can happen when good driver and bad driver both have one. So that's going to be 0.3 times 0.3, which is 0.09. Or when good driver has two and bad driver has zero. So that is 0.2 times 0.2, which is 0.04. Or when good driver has zero and bad driver has two. When good driver has zero, that's 0.5. Two is 0.4 for bad driver, so that's 0.2. So this adds up to 0.33. Okay, and then for the third one, when can you have three claims? Okay, that can happen when you ha when good driver has one, two, two, one, or both of them have three and zero and zero and three. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, so one and two, when good driver has one, that is 0.3, bad driver two, that is 0.4, um, good driver has two, that's 0.2, Bad driver has one, that's 0.3. Three drive, good driver has three, that is zero, so that's zero. And then this one is 0.5, three, bad driver has three claims, that's 0.1. So this is go to 0.12, um, 0.06, and 0.05. Add them together, what do you get? 0.23. All right, you can kind of see like, well, we know all probability has to add up to 1. And because 0 0.1 plus 0 0.21 plus 0.33 plus 0.23 already adds up to 0 0.87, that leaves from 4 and on just 0 0.13, right? So that means we know that it's not going to be 4 claims, 5 claims, 6 claims. So we can just stop here and conclude that the most number of claims is going to be 2 claims which is because it has the highest probability, so it's making it the most. So which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to leave them down below and make, <laughs> make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!